Hey, good morning. It's Josh at Rising Oaks Family Farm. And it's 5.30 and uh, sun's just coming up and today's a big day. We are putting up our first mobile electric fence paddock for the goats. Uh, so, got all of our materials here. Got our step-in post. We've got a uh, speed ride charger. We've got our poly wire. Got us a fence post and a driver to hang it all on. And uh, we're about to get after it today on this. So uh, I'll take a few other videos along the way. This is the first time I've ever done electric fence on my own. So um, I'm sure we'll mess some things up along the way. But uh, I've watched a lot of videos. So intellectually, I know how to do it. But uh, the rubber meets the road when you try to make it practical and do it on your own. So, uh, you know, we'll be learning here. If I can help someone else learn the first time, that's cool too. So. All right, we're gonna get after it. All right, here we are. This is, uh, we got the fence set up, and so I'm gonna walk you through exactly how we did it. Um, I'll probably do a longer video on this, but um, we were just trying to get this thing up this morning. But I've got my, this is my one joule, uh, 9,000 volt speed right charger. And you can see I've got it sitting on a T-post. And so it sits just nicely right down on that post. Nothing you have to do there. The leads are in the box right here with the battery. And so uh, you just put red on red, green on green. Now, I don't have a ground rod, but I'm thinking because this fence is all T-posts and cattle panels, effectively this fence is just one big ground rod, like all the way around. And so I, I just went ahead and clipped to the fence to see if I could get the proper grounding without ground uh, without driving a rod. And you can see here I've got T posts, or excuse me, not T posts, but step in posts that go every 15 feet. Now I've read that you can do 30 feet, but um, we we went ahead and did them 15 just to be safe. Oh. Rocky just found the fence. Oh. Rocky found the fence. And he is leaving. Poor guy. Well, we knew it keeps predators out, so I guess that's a good test. All right, so here's our tear gate reel. So I've got um, a thousand, a little over a thousand feet of poly braid on this reel. And what we did here is we started at the bottom and I simply tied that in just to a square knot. That'll be easy to release. And we basically went down the whole bottom this way until we got to our corners. And uh, I just went ahead and put a T-post in at each corner. You can see one here. You can see another one down there. Uh, I did that just to add some extra stability to the corners. And I wanted to run this poly as taut as possible just because the goats, um, they've never been on it. So, and we did that all the way around. I went around my trailer down there. And so we went around that bottom wire, then we came up the next uh, the next little spot there. And we came all the way back down here to the corner. And then we went up one more time and back down, up and then back until we got to right here. And then I just went ahead and wound the wire a few times and put the real uh, rubber side down on the fence because the metal parts of this reel are energized. Um, and so, let me put my coffee down here. All right, so, you know, we can test this, right? So I've got a, got a fence charger right here. So just so you know, the metal parts of this reel are reading 4,200 volts. So it's pretty hot. Now the poly wire itself is reading 
6.6. Here I'm getting 7,600. 7,400. 7,400 volts. So, um, you know, at the very bottom line, there's definitely grass, right? So we're going to lose a little bit of voltage. There's a load. There will be a load on this just because of the grass. Um, but it's still carrying quite enough volts for the goats. Uh, this whole thing, and I've got two goats in here testing. <laughs> so these are um, some of our, that's Kyle and Dash. They're last year's goats. Um, they're super docile, easy to catch if they get out. So um, we're going to test this with them. This whole thing took about uh, right at an hour. I mean, really, it was, you know, step the posts in every 15 feet. I went with two wires on the bottom because goats, you know, everything that I've watched and read said that the goats are really going to test the bottom first. So two wires on the bottom. I came up for a middle and for a top. And so really hoping that that gives us uh, what we need. You know, and if it doesn't, we'll come back. We'll, we'll change the setup on the wires and we'll try it again. All right, that's all for now. I uh, hope you guys are getting after it, having a good morning, and uh, I'll update you tomorrow on how the fence is going. All right, hey y'all. Uh, hey, so we are, um, I don't know, 10 hours after putting this fence in, and uh, you'll notice all the goats are, they still have access to this other paddock, but most of the goats are in here. Um, we did notice that uh, we had a couple of escapees on the smaller goats and that caused us to come in and run one more wire. And so uh, these two bottom ones we did originally, we skipped the third and went straight to the fourth. And what we found is for our smaller uh, goats, that was just enough room for them to put their head through. And so when they did get shocked, they just kept going. And, uh, you know, that's because they were in this, um, these cattle panels. So what we did is we came back and we added that third wire. So now you got four wires up to the fifth. And uh, I don't think they can get their head through. So as long as we get them shocked before their head gets through, I feel super confident that they'll back up instead of running in. Um, I was really dreading today because uh, I really thought we were gonna have a ton of goats out. And um, honestly, like this fence is super hot and they respect it. So like right now, you know, I'm getting 8,800 volts. I've seen it as high as 9,100, which is exactly what this awesome Speedrite S1000 is rated for, 9,000 volts. Uh, and it's performing like a champ. And so these goats, uh, they, they respect it on day one. So it's actually been really uneventful, which, man, I, I don't know that we could have hoped for anything better than that. So hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. And uh, when we wake up in the morning, all the goats are still in here. But so far, uh, it's been a success. All right, I'll get you an update in the morning.